Hi, this is Fatima. Here let us discuss how to set up a default page in ASP.NET Core application. Before proceeding to this video, watch my previous video where we have discussed about static files middleware in ASP.NET Core application. Default file or default page most of the web applications have a default page such as index.html or default.html as their startup page as it is easy to remember. This default page is nothing but a web page that is going to be displayed when a user visits the root URL of that application. All the pages on the webroot folder or outside of the webroot folder will be served on a specific request for it. However, what if you want to do to serve those pages file on a root request? See how to do it. This is an ASP.NET Core web application we have created already. Most of the web applications have a default page such as index.htm or index.html or default.htm or default.html as their startup page as it is easy to remember. So let's add a default page with the name index.html. So now let's add a new HTML file with the name index.html within this www root folder of your project. To do so, right click on this webroot folder, select add, select new item, which will open add new item window. From that window, select the HTML template, provide a name as index.html. Click add. Click on the add button. Once you click on the add button, it will add the HTML page with the name index.html within this webroot directory. Open the HTML file. Add some simple text and title to it. Now run the application and navigate to the URL. This output for this root request is the response from the middleware which is registered using the run extension method. If you want to serve this index.html page we have created, we can navigate to that corresponding URL. As you see here, this index.html was served on a specific request. In order to serve this index.html page as a default page for your application, you need to add another middleware, use default files middleware into this request processing pipeline. So modify the configure method of the startup class by adding just app.use default file middleware. which will set the default page for your application. Now run the application. This output shows you still you are getting the response from the middleware which is registered 
using the run extension method. In order to serve the default file, we need to add this use default files middleware before the use static files middleware. Now run the application. You will see the output as expected from the index.html for this root request itself. The point that you need to remember is the use default files middleware is just a URL rewriter and it never serves the static files. The job of this middleware is to simply rewrite the URL to the default file which will then be served by the static file middleware. The default behavior of this use default files middleware is that it will search the webroot folder for the file with the name default.html or default.htm or index.html or index.htm. But if you want, you can also change this default behavior. Let us see how to do it. If I want this first.html to be my default page instead of this index.html, then what I need to do is just to modify this configure method of the startup class. With this default file option, you can opt for selecting default file names. So create an object for this and then clear any default file names in it and then add your file name to it. Then pass this object to the middleware you are already used. Use default files middleware. Now run the application. Now you will see the output as expected coming from the first.html page we passed it as a default page to the use default files middleware the order of middleware is very important use default files middleware should be added before the use static files middleware in the request pipeline file server middleware the use file server middleware components combines the functionality of use default files, use static files and use directory browser middleware. We already discussed use static files and use default files middleware. This directory browser middleware as the name says enables the directory browsing which allows the users to see the files which are stored in the specific directory. Let us see an example with an use file server middleware. So now we modify this configure method of the startup class by just adding use file server middleware instead of default files and static files and directory browser middleware. We created an object for the file server options and cleared all the items already it has and added the page first.html to be an default page and passed this object as a parameter to the use file server middleware. Now run the application. You will see this output as expected coming from the first.html default page as we said. Hope you enjoyed this video. Our next video is about developer exception page middleware in ASP.NET code. Thank you.